The busiest airport in Florida is about to get even busier. More than 60 million passengers are expected to pass through the gates at Orlando International Airport in 2024. That is a 10% jump mm. from last year. I learned MCO Brass has some big plans for the future to meet that growing demand. Kevin Tebow, Executive Director of OIA. During a presentation last week, Greater Orlando Aviation Authority CEO Kevin Tebow's main focus was growth. Just to give you an example of year over year, between 22 and 23, we, grow, we grew 15%. Now, in planning purposes, we usually plan for 2 to 3%. So we basically grew five years in one year. And it's not slowing down. More than 60 million passengers expected to pass through the gates in 2024. But passenger volume isn't the only growth story. As the nation's fourth largest airport in terms of size, MCO is also expanding on its 12,000 acre property. That's how we were able to do Terminal C. That's how we're able to do a lot of these expansions because I have room to be able to build it without impacting current operations. Tebow says Terminal C and the entire South Terminal Complex is the future. Down the line, another 24 gates will open at Terminal C and way down the line, another terminal, Terminal D, will be added to the lineup. Terminal C, when it's fully done, 60 million passengers. Terminal D, 60 million passengers. Terminal A and B, 25 million passengers. That's what it really was designed for. <laughs> We beaked out more capacity on that thing than we really should have. Ultimately, Tebow wants to add a consolidated rental car facility. The goal is to build it on the south side of the airport near the 417. So it's one way to pick it up, one place to drop it off. And it will not be where A and B is. So it'll smooth out that whole A and B operation, take those cars out of there, and put them in their own dedicated space. And by doing so, I free up 5,000 parking spaces in the garages. He also addressed a different type of air travel, electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, air taxis essentially, that will zip passengers around the region. Matt Brofman is the head of public affairs for Lilium, a manufacturer of these futuristic aircraft. You'll take off vertically, you're gonna go 175 miles an hour all the way to Tampa and land either in downtown Tampa, at the airport, wherever that infrastructure is. And so I think that ends up being like a 30 to 40 minute trip uh, that you can have instead of having your potentially two hour trip. MCO wants to be a hub for advanced air mobility and plans to build a vertiport near Terminal C. Brofman says these air taxis will be here sooner than you think. It feels so far off sometimes when you talk about technology like this, but the reality is we're certifying this aircraft in Europe in 2025, shortly thereafter here in the US, and we'll begin commercialization. So you can see aircraft flying here in Orlando as early as 2026. <laughs> You're, I don't know, I see you. We're, we'll talk about it here in a second, but I do want to get into some other Terminal C upgrades. They include a pedestrian bridge that will connect the Brightline passengers directly to Terminal C. Right now, you have to walk through the parking garage, so that'll be an added convenience for sure. That's set to open in October. Crew's also working on new moving sidewalks, and they're finalizing plans for a new hotel at Terminal C. Now to the air okay, taxis. Okay, tell me the about Jetsons. the air taxis. The air taxis will I'm, be here sooner than you think. No, I heard that. <laughs> now, again, I, I think this is, this is, it, it sounds futuristic, it does. And it I is. think when you, when you hear Kevin Tebow talk about yeah. how uh, they're gonna be autonomous eventually. Mm -hmm. But okay, but you can understand why people would have questions because when they did Terminal C without all of the amenities that it should have had to begin with, right? right? So you hear air taxis next and it's like, okay. I, I know, I know, mm -hmm. but I think, you know, it's crazy, I, I it's know. crazy, but th that is becoming more commonplace again by 2026, we'll see what happens. And I do wanna get Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrell's take on the air taxis. He's had and some uh, experience with Terminal C. Oh yeah, man, <laughs> if you can't give me a moving walkway in Terminal C, I'm supposed to believe you're gonna it's fly coming. me. It's coming, it's coming. How about the air taxi? Are you gonna get in that thing? That's what I'm saying, no, I don't believe that is. <laughs> if you can't give me a moving walkway so I don't have to walk all the way through Terminal C, I don't believe you can give me an air taxi. Do you? I, sp I said my piece. I'm not picking a fight with the guy. I'm just saying, <laughs> show me the money, buddy. Because if it's there, okay. But I just, I don't know, man. If 5,000 new parking spots ain't going to fix it. 